Welcome back. Lynchburg gets a split on the weekend, losing a dramatic 9-8 game here to Wesleyan with head coach Steve Kadelka. You guys have been here many times. You get great challenges each and every weekend you come here. Thoughts on the way uh, your kids uh, played this weekend? You know, we just talked about in the locker room. I, I, I'm, I'm extremely proud of them. I, th I thought they played, um, you know, 120 minutes as hard as they could, you know. And, uh, you know, last night the, the, the we made a couple more breaks. And uh, tonight, you know, they made maybe one or two more plays than we did. But, you um, you know, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't trade the effort that our guys gave this weekend at all. For a, a team like yours, you guys really started to get some momentum going coming into this tournament. You'd won two in a row. You get the come from behind victory last night. What can you take from this tournament to go forward now? Because obviously, so all these games so important uh, as you go down the line. You guys have been so tested all year. Every time it seems like yeah. it's a ranked opponent every day. Yeah, you know, and I think this weekend is is unique in the fact that we play Stevenson last night that has a style that they play. And then Wesleyan tonight plays a completely different style. So that was that was probably the hardest part in the preparation for it. But um, but I think that's something that's, that we're going to be able to, to to use to our advantage moving forward. And you know from here on out, we're all you know ODAC conference games, and uh, you know we got nine games left. So we're, we're excited for that challenge. Second half when you needed it, they had obviously done some good things in the first half faceoff wise. Kester really came in and, and and did a solid job in that second half. Uh, if not only winning the ball, but certainly getting your guys in 50-50 situations, your kids came up big. Yeah, I, I thought. But all weekend, our guys, you know, battled at the X. I mean, sometimes you know, you're, sometimes you're going to win the faceoff and then lose the ground ball battle, or or vice versa. And um, you know, I really thought our guys battled there. And you're right, second half, we, we we won more than we lost, and it gave us some great you know chances to to play a lot of offense. I know we outshot them by a bunch, and you know, I wouldn't trade those uh, trade some of the shots for anything. So. Um, you know, hats off to our face-off guys. Why, do, why, why do teams? So many of you keep coming back to this event. What is the value of this event to to all of you that play in it? Well, I, I think number one, it's a class. It's a classy event. You know, they they, they do it in the right way. Um, it's a great venue. It's great teams. It's great. You know, great. Just you know, these are people that are we respect the heck out of each other as coaches, and um, you know, and just you know, I think just learn a lot. You know, you get to watch other teams play, and and. Uh, that's what these kids love to do. They love to play lacrosse. They love to be around it, and, and, and we do as coaches. And to be here for, for two days and there's 10 games going on, uh, it's just an awesome atmosphere to, to have our team be a part of. All right, congratulations on the split. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you very much. All right, Steve Kadelka joining us here as Lynchburg gains his split, beating Stevenson yesterday, losing a dramatic 9-8 game to Wesleyan here tonight.